My name is Rob Gabordi. I'm a breast surgical oncologist at St. Joseph's Hospitals. Uh, I work mostly at St. Joseph's Women's, but also at St. Joseph's Hospital South in Apollo Beach. I have always had an interest in plastic surgery, and so my mind is constantly thinking about how can I not only do a good cancer operation, but also try to improve the cosmesis afterwards. And a nipple sparing mastectomy is um, the most cosmetically pleasing mastectomy that we can do. Um, it's, a, it's accompanied with um, plastic surgery reconstruction, a case that we do together m more often than not. Um, but you're able to preserve the skin and nipple and areola are complex. Um, if your goal is a lumpectomy, a minimal scar surgery, uh, the, the goal is to, number one, do a good cancer operation, but also try to find a way to hide the scar. And that can be several options, either a peri-areolar incision, which is essentially um, we make our incision around where the skin change of the areola is, or um, an inframammary incision at the inferior aspect of the breast, much in the same position that one might have an augmentation, um, or through their axilla which is an armpit scar that we often can hide in the skin crease of the, of the um, upper arm. Candidates that wouldn't qualify for minimal scar surgery um, are usually larger tumors or tumors very close to the skin. Patients who have uh, you know, many medical comorbidities, we, we may do what we call delayed reconstruction um, if we're doing a mastectomy. Um, but often if we have small tumors, we're able to kind of um, eliminate some of those risks by doing a smaller operation. The next steps for my patient once they have undergone surgery really depends on what type of surgery they've had. For women who undergo mastectomy um, a, or a bilateral mastectomy, often um, we just follow them very closely, particularly for the first couple of years, by clinical exam. For women who undergo a lumpectomy, still same thing. We follow them very closely for two years. They're getting clinical exams every three months and often imaging every six months for the first two years. Um, and so we follow them very closely that way.